Recently, the largest satanic gathering took place in Boston. Watch this. Sold out event is starting today and it's happening all weekend here at the Marriott in Boston and a counter event is planned in response. People are arriving in Boston from all over to attend what's expected to be the largest satanic gathering in history. It's about freedom of religion, freedom from religion. Satan to me is a very powerful symbol of um, rebellion and anti-authoritarianism. And, you know, that's kind of what it is to me, obviously. Record-breaking numbers of Satanists came together to perform demonic rituals, throw up devil horns. Some were dressed up in goat costumes to pay homage to Baphomet. The audience cheered as a lady rips pages from the Bible. <laughs> Protesters stood outside as Satanists mocked God and ripped pages from the Bible. Satan has deceived them to think they can destroy the word of God. Listen to what she said after she shredded the Bible. So what we were doing is trying to destroy the symbols of the things that cause harm, that oppress us. She just said their motive for coming together was to destroy the word of God, which is impossible. The satanic temple is attacking everything that identifies with the most high God. Not too long ago, they protest because they wanted Baphomet to be placed next to the Ten Commandments. I realize when Satan deceived people, their reality become the lies that Satan tell them. They praise and worship Satan and say they don't believe that Satan exists because they are deceived. So we uh, don't believe in a literal Satan. Satan is a literary metaphor. Spiritual warfare is taking place. So put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. I never seen people praise Satan like I see today. They are deceived and they are deceiving others. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, that what he shall reap. God bless you.